think the gene genealogy of ideas is essential to understanding where we are now. And so uh, I think where we are now, we are back, let's say, um, uh, we've returned after a period of high cognitivism uh, that, that followed on the behaviorism uh, of the earlier part of the century um, and the mid-century, um, even though there's still a lot of cognitivism that is now within the uh, um, you know, our, you know, AI, artificial intelligence research and so on, we have returned to the late 19th century burgeonings of scientific psychology. Uh, when you were really, when people realized that it was possible to study, well, but let's say William James, just to say one big name, that you could really study this, the subjectivity in scientific terms, that these questions were no longer, were no, not just metaphysics. And questions about what the self is and how we, how we feel and things like that were not just about metaphysics. That you could actually use physiology, you could actually use empirical research to understand these things. So that began then. Then, as I just said, there's all this, you know, all these various uh, phases in the 20th century that took us away from it, and that, were in a sense, culminated in a kind of return of the old dualist model that preceded all that, uh, the dualist mind-body, you know, split that Descartes had really um, uh, consolidated tremendously in the 17th century, which is why that had interested me, and that dualist split, uh, I think. It was still active, I think, in the cognitivist times. Um, in a sense, there was a kind of almost a disembodied brain that people were studying as if it did not belong inside the body. Connect to anything, yeah. And that, I think, is a kind of dualism. Yeah. It's, a, it's a kind of brain-body dualism. And so now we've returned to the much more integrated organism that is the feeling organism mm. embedded in the world. Uh, all these models now, which I find very, very rich and um, interesting and fertile and that are being used now more and more even though it's not yet mainstream knowledge i think people still have a very strong dualist instinct without knowing that they do 